I'm gonna sit close to you for this one. Re- reading. I didn't ask what you're trying to do. I just asked what you're reading. How to eat the chain. Let me say the cover. What made you choose that book? Yeah, I'm just trying to embody what I read and what I wear and the lifestyle of how I live here. Damn, you're so lucky they can't hear you because you sound dumb as hell right <laughs> now. <laughs> In uh, the beginning was a Tao. All things issued from it. All things returned to it. To find the origin, trace back to the manifestations. When you recognize the child, children and have find the mother, you will be free from sorrow. If you close your mind, we should start every episode traffic off with, with a, desire. The passage. Your heart will be troubled. If you keep your mind from judging and you aren't led by the senses, your heart will find peace. Seeing into darkness is clarity. Knowing how to yield is strength. Use your own light and return from the source of light. This is called practicing. It's Sunday. Why you yelling? You done? That was a great intro. I didn't hear a word you said. Really? It was actually some fire bars. Do you like, th- what did you take away from it? Key Stop lesson. being a cunt and your heart will be at peace. Really? Yeah. I feel like once your heart is at peace, you stop being a cunt. I feel like it's the other way around. Like once you find peace, then you But you're how like, are you going to find peace if you're a cunt? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So fucking stupid. You look tan, brother. You know why? Because my face got roasted on July 4th. <laughs> How was your 4th? It was long. Was that- I would say it's fun, but it was long. Third, The 3rd, third you had people at your... <clears throat> oh, yeah, the 4th? I uh, ate glue, and I think, and I shit my brains out for like... <laughs> I feel like you've whole- done that a couple times. I recently. called out on Monday. Yeah, it's been a... You know what's happening now? If I, If it happens, it's over. What do you mean? Like my life is over. Oh, that's now, kind of like me with drinking, I feel like now. <laughs> like if I do drink, it's over for me. I had the truly iced teas and I thoroughly enjoyed them though. Yeah, I do. I had about 19 Dr. Peppers <laughs> and it was really good. A few of the the seltzer brands are starting to come out with like different flavored stuff and they're actually root fire. I, I, I'm over White Claws. White Claw anything, get it out of my face. I was thinking this and we've I think we've talked about this, but it's insane how White Claws are like literally the new beer. Yeah. So I was thinking like, I started thinking no one drinks straight beer anymore unless you're just unless you're like a 28 year old male like which is us. I don't know why I did that, but I meant to say like 38 year old male. I guess I was thinking like if we have the party Friday on the draft weekend, I'm like, do we just get a keg? And I'm like, wait, like literally nobody drinks beer anymore. Can they make seltzer kegs? Maybe I'm sure they if they they have to at least done a mini keg, right? Like at yeah. this point, they're huge profits. Yeah, dude, that's insane. So yeah, no one drinks fucking beer anymore, and I'm kind of sad about it. I. Don't I like still play beer. beer games, but I feel like even you, people. I play with white claws. That's what I'm saying. With, I feel I, like when I couldn't drink beer, this saved my life. I was drinking like Tito's for beer pong, and I would black out after two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White claws definitely saved you. I just remember like when we were at Nicolette's party or Renee's party or whatever, and we were playing like flip cup on the table. Not a single person was filling their stuff up with beer. I feel like it's one of those graphs where like up to a certain volume of you chugging it, though. It go, you know, it's like it's like the beer starts here, the white claw starts here, and it's just an overlap that way, that way. Like for me, beer exponentially better as you chug more of it, but white claw goes down. Uh, I think that's just you because I can chug white claws, not white claws, but the seltzers all day. Happy for you, happy for your stomach. It's in shambles. I thought I was hungover, so I know it's you're Sunday. about to start. No, don't do it. You go. Why are you yelling? <laughs> was I yelling? You kind of were, you were thought, about to. I thought it was a just a. Strong and impactful. So, so July four, you uh, you got you got glutened up. You got g'd up. Something happened. I I did, I did two quick poops at the party. Oh no! And I was like, oh, what's happening? And then I I didn't I didn't even care about it. I was like, whatever. This is just life. And then I got home. And I got I felt super nauseous like throughout the morning, like early morning, like two a.m. three a.m. And then I had had ex- just have food poisoning. Then I had explosive diarrhea. Uh, so you know this feeling. <laughs> and I was like, "What happened?" Hello, then, darkness. I was like, "Heather, friend. are you okay?" She's like, "I feel nauseous." So I'm like, "Oh, cool. It's both of us. We're sick." And then she's like, "No, I'm nauseous from like the Trulies." Uh, and I was like, "Oh no, I'm in danger." I had to call she out. Get like that often? Does she look at the spins and shit? Dude, she's the worst. All the time. All the time. Like, I like I, she just I like got... helicopters into your apartment <laughs> when she comes. Dude, home. she scurries around. She doesn't and just breaks things. She's like a little, like a little squirrel. You're like in bed sleeping, and you should. Like, I literally have one statue, like, one achievement in my life. That shit was broken. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and then she starts crying. I love that. And I was like, stop it. It's because she cares. One t- I came home the other day. She was eating pizza. 
sauce all over her face, eyes closed, sitting at the kitchen table, listening to Mariah Carey, and just bobbing her head. Like, Mariah didn't even Carey. know I was there. Yeah. Or it's that or Whitney Houston. And I'm just like, <laughs> you don't know the difference. And I'm just like, De- definitely, it was definitely Whitney. And I was like, just go to fucking bed. That's and she like, told me a story and then immediately fell asleep. <laughs> We went to uh, we went to the beach on July Fourth. I met Wilson and a bunch of his friends. Me yeah. and Tony went, and uh, we got there probably around like one p.m. Maybe Wilson got there super early because he thought it was gonna be packed. He sent me his location at like eight a.m. <laughs> and I di- it didn't like show up, so I thought I thought yeah. he was still at home and he was just like doing it for the sake of just like annoying me in the morning. And then uh, and then I texted him. He's like, "Dude, I sent you my location." So he was at, there at like eight thirty a.m. Getting prime seating, getting prime real estate. I get there and there's like, it's it, this, the entire city is like empty here. Everyone goes to the Hamptons. Everyone yeah. goes to there or whatever. So there's like not that many people on the beach. So he was just sitting there for nothing. So we get there at like one, and it was one of those days where it wasn't too hot. It was probably like seventy yeah, seven nice. or yeah. seventy eight. So you don't think you need a lot of sunscreen. Didn't put any fucking sunscreen on my face. So by the next morning, I was bright red like my face is bright red so you're seeing what, what's today thursday you've seen the glow yeah so like if you saw any of the last three days you'd be like oh fuck like i'm really glad we didn't film this on uh tuesday or wednesday the day was really fun though the beach was great we got we got absolutely wasted and like i don't i guess they are now like a, a micro dose group of people they just they just like eat mushrooms everywhere so Do I ate a couple drink? mushrooms. Yeah, everyone was like drinking. Everyone's just having a good time. And they're all just like, we like mushrooms or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I ate like one cap, one thing. And it didn't really like hit me. It didn't really like affect me. Every once in a while, I'd f- like be in a conversation and I would be like, the next thing that was about to come out of my mouth is real fucking dumb. So I'd like cut off and be like, ah, I'd have to remember that I was on shrooms again. Yeah. You know? Uh, but otherwise it was great. Tony got absolutely fucking wasted and was like passed out in the back of the cab on the way home or the back of the lift on the way home. Left his phone in the lift. Just got it back yesterday. Me and this guy, this guy was like going to the Poconos the day after he had us in the lift or whatever. So he didn't come back until yesterday. Tony, Tony's mom like sent him in a lift from 200th Street to, to Jamaica, Queens to get the phone, sent him to the wrong address. So he's like trying to get, reach out to me via a hotspot via his laptop in the middle of Jamaica, Queens. Oh my God. Yeah, it was such a fucking mess. Uh, and I was on the phone with this lift driver and his wife like seven different times yesterday. It was fucking insane. But he got his phone back. Um, and yeah, that was, that was basically the, why does he just fall asleep all day? He's a 22 year old. I'm pissed at Tony. Uh, to be fair, that was taken at like seven in the morning, the following day. That was like a normal sleep time. I just happened to have gotten on the beach. Oh, on the beach. Oh, he was really drunk. He was like, that was like a passed out drunk kind of, (laughs) that was like, that was like 7 PM. We've already been there for six hours drinking kind of thing. Okay, fine. Granted, granted. Uh, that was that, and then yeah, then the one on the couch here was like, I woke up at seven thirty, went to the bathroom, he was sleeping. I was like, I'll snap. But he always here. sleeps in that position. It's like yeah. the creepiest thing. It's really odd. I'm not sure why he, he has does like. That. I th- we got to ask him if he was like a premature baby or something. If he wasn't <laughs> in the womb long enough. You think it's trauma? It's something. We have to put him in that. You ever see those? It's not a commercial. You have to like look and find this thing. It's like they put you in like a a big ass vagina like simulator, and they like put you like what? you're like a baby. So you can like redo it. So you Hold can, up. <laughs> it's not. I was gonna say commercial. Have you seen that commercial? Yeah, that like that's just on like late night TV. Wait. So it's like a video online or something? No, no. You go to the place and they like you physically. They, they like swaddle you. So it's like like is a doctor's office like? I think it's like it sounds a stu- like a, it's it's sound- like a Soho studio. It sounds like a game at uh, what's what's the place that had like the simulator back? Oh, in the Sports day? World. It sounds like a game at Sports World. <laughs> but yeah. it's like a it's supposed to like. Be a simulator of like your mom's womb, and you're in there, and they fucking put you like in a ball, and you're like very tense, and it's supposed to like take any things you have. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. I might do it. I'm a preemie baby. I might need in like another two months in there or something. You know, if you do like a surprise, like if it's my birthday and you're like, "Yo, we're taking you out for like a surprise place," and we showed up there, swaddled, I do it. Swaddled ink. Like I'm getting pussy tonight. <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> Uh, what else we got going on? So the fourth was good. This week's been busy. Um, yeah, busy work wise or just like yeah, a little bit busy wise. We opened up the we we plugged the the draft weekend on Tuesday and Wednesday's video, and then we had I think I think we're probably up to like forty to forty five applications now for it. Damn. I haven't checked since like nine a.m. today. Uh, some of them are like I would say of the forty five applications, I would say like twenty are probably qualified. People like it, like it will clearly say. You need to be over 21, and someone will put, like, 18, and then they'll try to attach a video of it explaining why they should be coming. Someone tried to attach a video explaining that he's 20 years old, but he'll come and just be the house chef the whole time. I'm like, you really want to pay to come here while we're out the whole time, and you just want to wait at the house for us with food? We already got a chef, dog. Yeah, come on now. 
Um, so we've had applications like that. Uh, we have people, it was like the payment is due by July 18th. Is that a problem? And then we'll have like half the people just be like, yes. I'm like, why are you filling like a fucking application then? Uh, so it's I think a, it's because you're always sarcastic. So they just like. It's a bunch. Of, yeah. You know what? When I, when I first wrote the application for it, which I'll link down below, by the way, if anyone wants in, I wrote, is this a problem? And I said, I put no. And then underneath it, I put no, but underneath it, you know, those were the two options. And I was like, I actually can't do that. I need to make it. Yeah, so after like serious. the third person can't put it through, I. I uh, switched it to like a normal response thing, but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have, we'll be able to fill we it should up. Call like the top five, do an interview. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down to do something like that. We should, we could do it on like why yelling actually. Yeah. That'd be funny. Two weeks actually now. Cause we probably need to know who's coming before then. Actually, I told them the payment was due by like <laughs> tomorrow, uh, July 18th. So 10 days from now. Okay. We got some time. No, we don't. Cause we're not going to f- yeah. actually, I mean, we could film it beforehand. Maybe we can call them from down the shore. Since our, you know, our million subscribers are listening. We're saying we're going to go bi weekly. Yeah, so we're probably going to switch why yelling off until uh, bi-weekly. So that for you guys that are not good at math, that's once every two weeks. Just like your paychecks. Just Yeah, just like your paychecks, unless it's like my paychecks. It comes like once every three months, but the fat. So is this more for me or for you two? Uh, I think it's for both. Um, I think obviously it's tough for you to get here all the time, and our timing is shitty, and a lot of times you get here late, so it's like our energy is off. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, it's, like, super busy for me this time of the year, and it's, it's tough for me to do all the fantasy videos and also have... I, you know what it is? It's not like it's hard for me to sit here for 45 minutes with you, but I just feel like I'm not being able to put any effort into it. And I'm like, yeah. I don't want to keep putting out shitty... Put, put in shitty effort to a piece of content, like, because I don't have time to focus on it. You know what I mean? No, yeah, it's been tough. I don't even think I've wrote anything down in, like, weeks just because I'm like, we're just going to get it. I don't even know what day I'm going, and then we're just going to figure it out. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. It's like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We don't know <laughs> what day. We don't know what the fuck we're talking about ever. So it's. I think it'll be better. Um, we can go back to weekly in the off season when football's yeah, yeah, done yeah. and stuff, and that's a time we could be, like, more creative and fuck around with it. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we'll go bi-weekly, and I think you'll get better, probably longer episodes, probably more actual, like, depth to the content, too. We'll have more mm-hmm. stuff to talk about in it. It's very creepy. Yeah. No one's coming yeah. out. Um, one thing I thought was interesting is I've had a lot of a lot of kids in college. You know, you know how the uh, name, mm-hmm. image, likeness or whatever, the college kids can get paid now? Oh, okay. I, you, I you've didn't. probably seen the abbreviation NIL on yeah, Twitter yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. name, image, likeness. So, basically, costs. Athletes can get paid for oh, you sponsorships mean, okay, yeah, and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So we've actually had a lot of kids. I, Barstool kind of started the, the, yeah, the wave our, with it. Yeah. Um, and now I have a bunch of kids reaching out to me like, yo, are you guys going to sponsor? Like, do you want to sponsor us as athletes, as college athletes? And at first I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool as hell. We have no money. The other, th- th- there's the other thing I don't think a lot of people realize. It's like in the same way that if a company has a product and they want to advertise with a creator like, and I'm not saying these athletes are shitty, but like you can't just, and not everybody that comes is a shiny new toy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like you can't just be throwing like, okay, yeah, we want 10,000 downloads from you, 10,000 downloads from you, even though your podcast is shitty, your podcast is shitty, your podcast is shitty. Like you still have to, if you're sponsoring athletes, look at the quality of like what you're doing. I don't even know what that means to be honest with you. I'm not like paying them to do it. I could send them like merch and stuff, but that's like kind of the same thing. It's yeah. just like, I don't know what the what the ends or the means of this would even be. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm kind of just going to see what happens and see what, like, what a company like Barstool does. Because they have yeah. probably, like, 100,000 kids that apply to their application. To I see. mean, they probably saw it coming, so they already chose who they were going to pick. They have some big-time names. Exactly. I saw, so, like, VaynerMedia yeah. getting on top of it. They signed, like, I, one, I would one, say, one, one, like, at our, our level, we would have to kind of, like, pick the jockey that, like, no one thought would be good and might be good. You would have to like literally look at their statistics. But the thing is, like, <laughs> even if we did, like, what does that even mean? Like, sponsor them? Like, what? Well, it's would just depend on what they would want. Yeah, like, like we we're, we're right now we are looking at best D three athletes and just hope. No, I've had a b- multiple D one athletes reach out to me too. Are you serious? They'll be like, yeah, they'll be like soccer players, basketball players, like players that play at like but legit d- schools. But were they? But like, I don't have want- like Notre Dame fucking wide receiver. Were they like we just me. want money or they just? They're like- just like, see, that's the thing. Nobody knows what it means. They're just like, dude, you guys sponsor athletes, and I think they either mean it's f- they either in their head probably think it's free merch yeah. that I just send it to them and they wear it whatever they want to. But like in my opinion, that's not a good deal for our company. Like yeah. Like it's fun, it's cool, it's it's fun. Like it's more on me on my. Like, I think free merch would be cool, but that's. I agree. Like, it, like it's on me to cap. think of it creatively. Like, 
what would I want to do with with athletes that have it, right? Not just like here's some money, like post big dogs on your Instagram. Like I'm, I would never do that. Like that's stupid. But you why know? not? Why is that stupid? Because what does that do? Like okay, I I, I send two hundred dollars to uh, a D one athlete plays basketball at fucking North Dakota State or something, mm-hmm. right? And he posts on Instagram like big dogs fantasy is cool as shit. Like so it goes to what his two thousand Instagram followers. 1,500 of them are probably girls from his college that want to, like, fuck. Like, That's it's just, it, when you really think about it and break it down, it's like a it's like a podcast being sponsored. It's like our podcast being sponsored by, like, a fucking pen company a lot of the time. <laughs> it's just like, we're sitting here with pens. It's like, our audience don't give a fuck about a pen. Fuck a pen. That's fuck a pen. Fuck a pen. Fuck, fuck all Baba you D1 athlete-ass motherfuckers. If you ain't Devin Booker, don't come in my DMs. Well, that was sponsors a Sponsors in four. But I would say, maybe if you think, like, creatively, if they could just, like... Maybe you gave them a piece of content they just throw out of, like, they f- they start doing Marg reviews or some shit like that, you know? kind of fire, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, do you want athletes drinking Margs and we just get them expelled and then he has to work for us for free? Why would he get expelled for drinking Margs? I don't know, man. I don't know how college, any college If any college <laughs> expels you for drinking Margs, you can you can work for big dogs. Fact. <laughs> I'll hire your ass. You could, this, this, this is a school of big dogs right now. Can I ask you a question? This is totally not about any of that. uh uh-uh. This, no, no, it's, it's about fantasy. This this draft everyone's doing, the SB. Yeah, the Scott Fishbowl. Like, is SFB. it actually, like, huge? I'm so confused by it's it. the biggest it's, fantasy draft, like, in the world, probably. It's, like, all over my feed. I haven't yeah, been on sucks. Twitter forever just I because. I, I don't even know. I don't even follow that many fantasy football people, but it's everywhere. It's horrible. How many, like, leagues is it? Why does he it's, do it? It's is 1,900 it? people. And it's all, they're all normal leagues, like 12-team leagues. Uh-huh. But there's how do the math? It's uh, 150 of them to equal out to 1,900 people. It's basically every single fantasy football analyst, content creator, and then half the spots are probably fans. So okay. it's it's a it's a it's a way that fans can play against their favorite analysts. Like I'm in it. All everyone on the Big Dogs team is in it. Mac, Animal Snacks, Joe, like everybody, and then. Uh, people, everyone from like ESPN, everyone from, and then there's people that are like Shane Battier, like NBA player. Like there's yeah. a lot of people that are really into fantasy. Battier. Yeah, like really random people that are really into it. And then all the fans get in, so they get excited. They get to play with people. Uh, it's for charity, basically. So everyone comes together, and it's like everyone donates a shitload of money during it. And the guy who runs it, Scott Fish, is like really big in charity, and he runs this thing called Fantasy Cares, where like everybody donates to it. And they end up raising like I think they raised like 50k last year. I'm okay. sure they'll probably raise like double that, if not more, this year. That's how Mike was raising a lot for it. Yeah, too. so it's like the more people he allows in, and it's a gradual thing. Like he's been doing this is SFB 11, so this is the 11th year. Mm. Each year, it's I think it's went from literally it was probably a 12 team league at one point that I think it was called like the Scott Fish League. He was just the commissioner of it, and it multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. Now everybody like it's nineteen hundred people in it. I think he said he got twenty thousand applications to be in it. Wow. Um so yeah it's big and it's like it, the more awareness you get behind with So if it, you win you get nothing. If you win you get nothing other than like everybody knows you won it, which like it, it, uh, people that win it like love that. I personally like it'd be cool but like I wouldn't it wouldn't really do anything for But me. also is it just like one of those things where I don't even know it just conf- why so so many people are so into it. It like blows my mind. Yeah, it's 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 if like you got invited, you like have to do it or like people unfortunately, are, yeah, I tried like, not to get in it this year. I really did. How did you try? What did you do? I didn't I didn't fill out like an application to be in it. I didn't respond to any emails. But like Scott, I know him personally, so like he puts any analysts in it. And, and on the draft day, there was just like a year on the clock, and I was like, fuck. I was just like in a draft room, like in a league. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, and I don't really care. It's whatever. But it's like a still on it. I, uh, I I was on the clock and um, I totally lost my train of thought. Thanks, TJ. You scared me <laughs> a little bit because when you're like looking at the camera, I was like, "Oh fuck, we've been off this." whole You time. just didn't want to be in it, but now you're in it, uh, and now you're on. The yeah, clock. I don't care. It's just that I'm in a bunch of other leagues. So this and this this particular league is on a weird ass platform that like nobody likes. So it's just like one more. I've consolidated almost all my leagues onto the same website or platform, like Sleeper, the Sleeper app. Mm-hmm. And this one's just on a random one. So it's like when I do my waiver wire in the middle of the week, when I do any like trades starting my lineups and shit, it's like, oh, I, f- I got to remember to go over to this one as well and like figure all this shit out. So it's just kind of like annoying to do it. I just really don't. just like first world problems. Like there's no reason for me to be complaining about yeah, it. Yeah. Like, something like most bitch. things in life. Yeah. Like, you got to talk like f- fantasy. I, I, I'm still so confused. How can you draft now? People draft like a week it sucks. before. It sucks. Like, I don't get now. It's another th- reason I don't like Scott Fishbowl. Because, because like someone can get hurt. They dra- I'm, I don't know why they draft it now. Um, 
Yeah, someone can get hurt. A lot of people, like the year uh, Andrew Luck retired, I had him in my Scott Fishbowl team. Uh So I think I have PTSD a little bit from that. Mm. Um, He was like one of my early round picks. So it was like his first wide receiver. So it was like two man down right away. Uh, Yeah, that's the other shitty thing. Like I hate, no one drafts this early unless you have. Oh, okay. No, this is, no, this is very irregular. Unless you're like, the only time you draft this early is if you're in a league with like your college buddies and like. You want to do a live draft, and you're like, oh, everyone's going back to school within, like, a week uh, or something. Otherwise, it's now or as close to the season as possible. Gotcha. Yeah, so. What, what, um, when are we doing a fantasy football weekend? Is it the last, like, 20, it's, like, September 1st is Monday? August 27th to the 29th. Okay, cool. I just wanted to confirm that. Yeah, and then September 1st is Wednesday. <laughs> oh, word. I guess I looked at the wrong schedule. Yeah, I was about to say what the fuck you The 29th is a Sunday. Did you launch the draft guide? No, we're not done with the the web develop. What did you say, the 12th? Yeah, that was their estimate. That was their estimate when we first started the whole project. Okay. It and won't be done by the 12th, though. You won't? No. Not even close? Uh, I don't know if... It, I'm not sure. I just know it won't be done because we have... We, we get on calls every Wednesday, Friday, and I think we have one more call before the 12th. Jeez. Are yeah. you, like, nervous or you don't care anymore? No, I don't really care. I, I kind of... I feel like I've come to realize that even if I push it back like a week or two, these other people aren't like dying to get it right now because their drafts aren't for another few weeks. Oh, okay. So, so this one, this is not affecting sales. I thought this whole time was affecting sales. It is like it kind of is. It is, but like I'm more worried about what they think that the customers think than me. Like I'm, I'm like it sucks that I'm not getting the revenue that I normally would be. But is it going to be rather them just substantial not amount this year? Or? I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers, but to be honest, probably. But if we do the numbers views wise and engagement wise in like August, that I think we will then. It should hopefully take care it's of it. It's kind of funny because every other year, except now, like that was a, a big staple of your um, budget. And now, are you kind of taking it out of the equation a Dude, little bit? So or? I actually wanted to bring this up this week. I'm really, re- I think I might have said something about it on one of the previous episodes. I'm, I'm thinking really hard about pivoting from, not pivoting away from the draft. Having altogether. a product and just getting sponsorships and shit, you said. Last no, time. different though. Focusing on focus like putting our focus behind subscriptions like patreon being the main driver um we've gotten up to a point now between me and mike we're pulling in almost i think last month was what's it july right now Mm -hmm. so for june we pulled in i think like 6k from that nice uh july will be more august will be more september will be more like it continuously goes up uh we could we could make i don't know 75 to 85 off patreon this year and the thing about it is like we don't really focus our energy on it. mike does because that's his main thing you know that's his main driver but i don't and i'm like yo if i focus a lot on that that's recurring revenue every single month that i don't really have to worry about and i can make it that much better you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah rather than focusing on one product that like every single person is doing at this point um, and it's like more and more difficult to kind of differentiate yourself. It still works because it's like people trust you. So they're just, they want to buy your product mm-hmm. anyways. Um, but it's something I'm thinking really, really seriously about. But I remember you saying that you want to get away from Patreon. Are you talking about making the platform? Yeah, it, it wasn't so much Patreon. It but was make just like, that theory into the yeah, BDGE the store. website. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like mm-hmm. a membership service. That's what, I, that's what I probably like to do. So what would you, how would you pivot to do that? Uh, it wouldn't. It wouldn't necessarily be a huge pivot. It would just be like, it would. It would be more so talking about it, way more in the videos, mm-hmm. like plugging it, and me being a lot more active in the Discord, um, bringing new like monthly contests, monthly giveaways, just like being engaged with the people that are in the community way more than I am now. So I don't have a lot of time to because I'm working on draft guidance, all this other bullshit. But if I put my focus to it, I think the community, like Discord builds community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, yeah, the product yeah. is a product. It's a one-off thing people buy because it, it's a product, whatever. Um, the community itself is like very cool though, I think. And there's a lot you could pivot off to. And I think that's the way also, you want to talk about this being like a lifestyle brand. If I'm like, even if I'm like, yo, get into the Discord and then there are channels that are not even fantasy related, they're like lifestyle channels. Mm-hmm. I'm like, post shit in there that you want to post. You know, if I'm like telling uh, Animal does he posts his gambling stuff but i'm like yo animal post your gambling scott get in on the stocks which they already do but if i'm like yo put all your effort towards this you know this is the way you contribute back to bdge on a real scale for for product wise for finance yeah, yeah, yeah. purposes if we get all the players in there that's another way it could be like yo all the big dogs team members are really actually active in there you know what i mean no that makes sense it's the community that you always talk about yeah like so, right now it's you, too many channels 
right? Or it's not too many channels now. We we have the new Discord running, like the normal Discord. Okay. Running. Uh, so it's fine right now. It's just like I'm not as in tuned or engaged into it. It's running by itself. Like people are in there talking like all day with themselves. But like, I think it'd be cooler to be more attached to it. What are the because t- I I what are the tiers of like pricing on that? So there's two. There's okay. There's the regular, which is like 99% of people, and then there's the GOAT tier. So it's like the regular, you get basically everything. The GOAT tier is the same exact thing, except you get access to a private channel with me and Noah in it. So we mm-hmm. answer your questions like no question to ask. It's just it go, the jump up in price is $10 a month to $45 a month. That's wild. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean, people pay for access. And that's what I mean. Like, you could do a lot with access. You have a lot of flexibility. And do you think you would ever, like, lower it? Just to get more people, because you'd make more profit now, or is that? Not- I would rather raise the price and be and do it better. To be honest, mm. there the the other thing too that gives it flexibility is like you could lock and unlock different things in a membership like platform. Yeah, you could do okay. Here's uh here's a here's a membership part that's three dollars a month, and you get access to our rankings year round. But that's it. You got our rankings, and it's like if that's you, you want to see our dynasty rankings all year round, or rookie rankings, whatever. Three dollars. You don't you don't get into the community, but it gives you a lot of flexibility. You know what I mean? It's almost okay. like a a la carte. Yeah, you know? that's nice. And then since you said like you're gonna put on the site, that's gonna really be nice too. Yeah. And are you gonna integrate mics or Mike's still gonna be solo or? Uh, or Mike Mike will have his own thing still. Mike will have his. His is like very dynasty intensive and dynasty. He does such a good job of running his community over there on his uh on his Patreon on his Discord. You good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Um. I want to let him do his own thing. That's like such a very, it's such a dynasty intensive thing that, uh, and his dynasty still is like crazy and popular. Is it for sure? Yeah. yeah. That's honestly like Mike's an animal, huh? Just like in a yeah. sense of like, he, he works like, a, like all, I feel like he works all the time and then he just like stays. His Twitter fingers are yeah. always going, always on Twitter. Always that's like how fucking I grew going. Um, I, I saw a lot of like, like I, that's why I brought up the, um, that fantasy thing you guys are doing for sure with Scott. Oh, whatever it's Scott, called. Scott Fish, because yeah. all I saw <laughs> saw was like Mike tweeting shit out and he said he's doing charities and he's raising money. Yeah, and he shit. was doing a lot of good. And his community within the Discord is really strong too, which That's is why awesome. it's like cool, you know? And it's uh, it's fun because he's bringing his own people on from his, his channel and stuff. So it's, um, yeah, I think it's in a good place. It just, it's just weird to me to be like, okay, we're a subscription service business now. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel, it feels like, it feels gimmicky, you know what I mean? It feels like kind of spammy, even though it's not. I know there's there's plenty of like businesses that seven, eight figures just off subscription services, you know? How much do you charge for the draft guide? Uh I think they're twenty five a piece, maybe. Dynasty twenty five, season long twenty five. So, so say you buy that fifty bucks and instead of that fifty bucks you do a uh, ten dollar subscription, you get like almost half a year of full content. You yeah. know, like so it's I don't Well that's what I'm it, thinking. Yeah. Like I don't even think it's spammy, it's just like not spammy, it's just like saying it is like weird, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, this, this is what's hard, I guess, for you, because you start on a free platform of YouTube, right? And then you had an idea, and then now you're trying to make money off of your fucking idea, because you you need to survive, but you also need to make... I think this would be a really good financial pivot, to be honest. The draft guide always seems so fucking complicated. I know you it, loved it, always, it at first, It always but- is, I, and I actually think, I feel like I've said this every year, but I actually think once we're done with this rebuild up the website like we'll be good to go for the next year or so yeah. what i think is is to what i think i'm going to do is consolidate what we actually have available in the draft guide and make it a very simple offering that and maybe lower the price like the dynasty rookie guide instead of 25 make it 15 or 20 and say if you want the dynasty rookie guide you get rankings the player dashboards and mike's bible those three things but right now we have like those three things and we're like exclusive articles on this tools over here that I'm just like, ah, like I'm not good at making those things. I'm they're all over the place. I don't even know when they're going to be released. You know what I'm saying? No, so yeah. we simplify it really down to exactly what it is to two or three bullet points in each of those things. I think it might become easier and, and I less think it's, it's smart in a sense of the restructuring of BDG. Cause I feel like this year is going to, it's such a, it's already starting where like a lot of things are changing in the community, like with like the people that work in yeah. BDG and like, not for nothing, like, you know, I don't know if Animal Snacks, like, you know, like Mike said, too, he doesn't want to always be a content creator. He just wants to be yeah. a part of it. And just making a subscription makes that now everyone can just fucking load it in. And then you're still the face on YouTube. But that, that brings so, you I mean, right if in. I, if, it, I could, if, like, I could, if I could, like, focus on just doing content community, content yeah, community, content like, community, stop doing all the tech bullshit in the background yeah. that I don't need to be working on. That's the other thing. It's like, it's like if we switch to that, 
there are a lot of things that I can outsource to other people that I try, like community management, being a, a fucking, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like an admin, I guess, or whatever mm-hmm. within the community. You know, so you, so you have shit going. And I feel like, um, I don't know. So it's, I've been thinking about it more and more recently as the draft guide has been stressful this entire fucking off season. And so. it's always stressful. And I, I just, you just have to start being like, start thinking what's best for you and the, this this business now you know like yeah. before it's just like videos and we're just gonna figure it out no you gotta you gotta figure it out now yeah. why why'd you move away from me you were so close I felt the warmth. I don't know we were like close and then all I I felt like I set it up so that it was centered so if the video <laughs> the first like five minutes is gonna be like this much blank space over here and then just you and me next to each other and I felt like I was cutting that off a little bit I'm sad when are we gonna take that picture like never honestly why? I like it's, it's stupid. Like, we're not going to be able to pull that off well and make it look good. Yeah, we can. I can. Could... <laughs> look at that. Look at that jaw. Did I spit on you? I was doing the Rihanna face. Oh, <laughs> you're doing a really bad job. How about this van drought? Huh? Thanks for getting my shoes. The van. Yeah, what do you mean the van drought? You there's check big, on Amazon and So shit? there's a big fucking van drought. So we've been wearing high top. You brought me on. I'll give it to you. Give you the full credit. Credit is due. Uh, you had vans, I made fun of them, and then I tried them on. I'm like, this is fucking changing my life. <laughs> you know, erectile dysfunction, gone, <laughs> and I got them. And we've been wearing vans every six months. You know, you change them up. That's that's the move right there. See, you could you can contribute to this the, to the style fashion channel in Discord right there. Yeah, that's it. Boom, we buy them. Figured out shoes for the rest of your life. <laughs> so new, new vans, skate high, white, Yeah, every six months. I always, first time wearing them, get a stain. But I don't care because I know in six months I'm getting a new one. Facts. It also looks like a little too weird when they're too white. Uh, yeah, I, I like them white. Okay. I, I digress. I got enough white on me. <laughs> you, you need, <laughs> I need a little more. It looks more. clean with, yeah. with the tan person. But first, I'm going on vacation starting tomorrow, so I wanted my shoes because I just got... So you're going to bring them? Yeah, I'm going to get them. make the same mistake every time. Yeah, what are you going to do? Like, you you get the white shoes, and then you immediately wear them to, like, the first event that you have. You have to. It's like, oh, so we're going out tonight in fucking New York City, and it's raining. I'm surprised you don't want to wear them out tonight. I'm surprised you are not trying to pitch me to go out to a bar <laughs> just to wear them tonight while it's Dude, pouring there's, out. like, a three-hour delay on trades. I'm staying for the log one. I might put them on. Oh, yeah? No. I wonder you Anyways. Have energy this <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying... I. First thing first, I went to Amazon I don't for cut it. You off again so bad, but that, okay. that two day two day shipping, you know, sold out on my size. I'm like, okay, it's Amazon, whatever. And then I go to my go to spot, Journey, the Journeys, the yeah. sneaker sneaker place, Journeys, yeah, yeah, sold out. I'm like, okay, physically went to it. Yeah, my mom went. She's like, they don't have this, and she's like, what about the lows? I'm like, get out of my face, don't ever <laughs> disrespect me. And then contacted Macy's, they didn't have it. Then the Vans flagship. Over here, I put the order in, it processes it, and then an hour later, it's like, canceled, cannot fulfill order. Damn. And then once the Vans, the literal store that makes them said they can't do it, I start panicking. And I'm like, I need shoes. What am I going to wear? You I created got, a title wave. I got 19 pairs of shoes, but what am I going to fucking wear? I don't have my Vans. Those are my going out shoes, my fucking tap dancing For shoes. every shoe, yeah. And <laughs> so, Soho Paxson had them. See, I Book never it. go to the store to pick them up. Like, I just order them off the website. Not for pickup. I honestly, this was a time crunch, but seeing that every store didn't have them, sold out. You needed them for this vacation. Sold the fuck out. You, Vans. The, you can do. They're a great shoe. High top white. I, I just feel like it's one of those things where, like, you know, you have a coffee card now. Like, we should have a van card. Like, I was like, we we like you. How many? If they look at our order history, <laughs> would, so many vans. Be so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually imagine someone looking at my order history. It's like going back to 2012. Nick has ordered 17 pairs of the exact same fucking shoe every four months on average. I feel like for a while I was doing it just like as soon as I fucked up a pair, I'd order a new pair. Yeah, I had for Amazon for a little bit. I had a reoccurring subscription. Like every six months. That's insane, but, actually. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. Amazon's like kind of wild with their subscriptions. They try to get you to purchase that every time. And I realized like I purchased something like like tape today. No, it was like, it was like, yeah, it was, I, it was something more ridiculous than tape. It was something that you would never need a monthly subscription for. You got it. I think I accidentally did. Yeah. It was like, it was, it might've been pens, honestly. I have one subscription on Amazon now. It was like a thing you need once in your life. RX bars. Yeah. I get them every six weeks. See, the problem with that is like, like you need to have a very organized life in order for that to work out. Like when you buy food, you buy an RX bar, like you go through phases where you eat like seven in a two day period and then you won't eat. For another... No, I do once a day at work. That's insane. Fuck! I was going to bring one RX boar for the plane ride tomorrow. RX boar? 
They're really gross, but I like them. What do you mean to the plane? What are you going to the plane straight from here? No, tomorrow. I was going to put them in my bag. Can't you just get one when you go? You don't have them at home? No, they're at my, at my store. Oh, yeah, I mean, dude, there's like you could literally stop at 50 different stores on the way home. Whatever. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. I'll probably leave it here. Like I left all my desserts to last while you yelling. I got you more. Dude, I can't eat you that. I got dairy in them. I'm about to go on a plane ride. I don't. You don't understand. Once I have a plane ride, I don't eat anything. You just said you were upset. You left your desserts, and then and then I said I got them, and you started complaining about something totally different. What do you want me I to do? solved the one problem you were complaining about. Yeah. Then you just started another problem because I was gonna eat that last week. I had no no qualms last week. I feel you. But now tomorrow I got a plane ride. What so if you just the, want to leave them with me? Imagine like, the plane. This is my. Oh, big, I forgot you guys have to leave. Oh, you're leaving tomorrow. This is one of my biggest fears. You have to shit on the plane. I, I've shit on planes, but my biggest fear is someone's in the bathroom. You can't get in. And I can't get in, and I just had like, poop my, on the floor. <laughs> like, we're midair. I like the fact that, I feel like a lot of your fears are poop-based. 99% of my f- fears are poop-based. If you, someone fixes my poop problem. It says a lot about you. I would have no like, fears. What do you wait, mean? Wait, the other thing I was What do you think I tell? Hold on. The other thing I was. Hold on. Save that thought. The, well, just go. the other thing um, I wanted to cut you off before is the, the count, uh, the count while Giannis is at the free throw line of one to ten. It's amazing. Is the most electric chant in like sports history now. <laughs> yeah, he's it's like, amazing. And they're like, "Do you hear?" It? He's like, "A fucking of course I hear." It. It's twenty thousand people counting. It's insane. I don't know why it takes him so long. Do you think it's the limbs or just? I mean, dude, once you like rituals, man. That's what it is. It's like they teach you that when you're in like fifth grade. They're like, get a ritual down for your free throw and never change it. I'm like, that's just fucking bullshit. But that's what everyone does. It's the same thing every time. He has to change it. It's electric. They're gonna put like a clock on him. Yeah, it's sick. Have you been watching? I stopped watching. I, honestly, I watched yeah. all the playoffs. Didn't not watching the finals. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, no, I'm watching. I love it. I'm yeah, hu- I've been a huge fan of the playoffs. I'm actually like semi. I, this is the first time. Base, basketball's bike in your life. Basketball's fucking bike, but this is the first time I've like actually sad that like a sporting event is like gone outside of football. Like once the regular season of football is done, I don't really like. I'm not even really that tuned into the. You playoffs. don't even watch the playoffs. I watch them, yeah, but I'm not like, like I. They're not like a huge. Well, now that's like your job. But the NFL playoffs aren't my job at all. Once week 16 is done for No, fans, but you just hate football now. No, I don't hate football. You fucking once, hate, once, big once, hate on football guys. Once week 16 is done, that's the, the on, only thing cutting you off. tying me to football is as much as you're tied to football. Straight, pure fucking passion. I don't have, I have zero passion. Do I. But anytime I like yell at you, why do you always stick your tongue at us? It's, it's not a good thing to do. <laughs> it's not an adult <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> okay. Like, Nick, <next laughs> Stop. <laughs> So it you makes do. you stop. Makes you. St- I'm making you stop before you can make. You know, it's like you, you, you Reverse push someone psychology? away. You push someone away before they can push you away. Right? You break up with them before they can break up with you. That's I've never had that problem. Yeah, I've had it plenty of times. <laughs> this is what I'm doing to you in tongue form. You're telling me to stop, so I'm stopping you before you could tell me to stop. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel pain. Be- like you're. I want to feel sadness. <laughs> you don't. Like the only sadness. Of, like even people in my life that died, I barely knew them. Like, I just went to the first time to to a, a cemetery. First time in my life. When? Heather's grandma passed, and uh, we had to go to the cemetery. To was the first time you went to a cemetery in your life? In my life. A t- hot take? Wakes are worse than funerals. There you go. I can see that. I mean, it's way open. Fucking it's open. Worse. I'm really bad at wakes now. Wakes are way more personal. Yeah, but my problem is I've been going to a lot of wakes. <laughs> I'm a big wake guy, but I've been going to a lot of wakes that are like nothing to do with me. I'm going for Heather or someone else, and you some like you kneel and pray in front yeah. of them, and I can't stop staring at their face, and I'm just like Jesus Christ, look at your face. Does it scare like, you? Are you scared of death? Hard question for me. Hard question. I don't think I'm afraid how I will die. I don't think I'm afraid of death either. I think I'm just afraid of like missing out. On potential while I'm alive, like I don't think it's death at all. I think it's more so. I think it's. I think it's like if you if someone came to me and they're like, you have to fucking move to Taiwan tomorrow and live in like a hut, you know, and that's the rest of your life. I'd be like, fuck, like I'm missing out on so much potential in my life. Yeah, but it's not death that scares me. You know what I mean? I think death scares me. I w- I think I would be lying if I said death didn't scare me because there was one time I smoked a lot of pot by myself and it totally fucked me up. I started thinking about death. And then I started thinking about it, it's forever. And then I started thinking it was about eternity. And then I thought it was like, you're just dead forever. And every time happens. I have that thought, it always results like the end thought of that compilation of thoughts in my head is always like, 
you're coming back as a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming back as like a fucking butterfly or a squirrel. I'm like, fucking fuck. You have to just be dead forever, right? Like you just no, dude. You're definitely coming back no, as, I don't as think cardboard so. piece of paper. I don't think so. I like. I'm coming gonna start getting anxiety as, I'm right back now. As a subscription okay. service on Amazon. <laughs> you, you bands. Hope you become bands. <laughs> I'm coming I'll buy. back as my own bands. Oh, I'd buy you. You think I'm just stepping on my great grandfather? I've been ordering my, all my <laughs> fucking relatives. Oh shit. No, I, I just think you're just dead for eternity, and then that's it. Yeah, Nothing but you happens. don't care though. Ignorance is bliss. Like I care now because I'm alive. That's what I'm saying. So do you think like people? I don't want to die young. I want to die like 70s or 80s. That's fine. I don't want to die before. I want to die before everybody else, but I want everyone to just. Uh, why are you laughing? Because <laughs> whatever you were about to say is probably some sinister shit, <laughs> like some selfish ass shit <laughs> that you shouldn't be saying out loud. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I always think, like, now, like, thinking about Heather, I'm like, what if she died? Like, sometimes I'll just think that in that a shower. Would, like, that'd be heartbreaking. Like, like that'd be nuts. That'd be like, she'd be dead, and I'd just be like, what? Yeah. She's fucking dead. Like, yeah. you'd be like, Steve, how you doing? I'm like, Heather's dead. Like, what do you think? Like, I'll be saying that for years. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty damn good, Pretty brother. Dead. Put it there. You nuts. I don't know. Death freaks me out. No, I'm scared of death. I, I figured you're it out. Ter- yeah, we realize you're terrified. <laughs> terrified of death. People on their deathbeds gotta be like, <clears throat> you know, I feel like everyone is always talking about how they're like, Calm on their. I guess maybe that's. I've just never heard reason. that. I've always heard of someone's like, ah, George, s- <laughs> you're here with me, like George. And just start fucking I'd imagine your heads. adrenaline would be like through the fucking. Like you just. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if most people died from adrenaline rush. Oh my god! Like going, you're going on a fucking roller coaster. You have adrenaline. Like I'm about yeah, like to, you're chap- gonna tell me I'm about like, to die. You understand how much like a deathbed sucks? You probably just have like chapped lips you're so thirsty your body is like already shut off yeah, like the like, batteries have been unplugged yeah, you're just from like, you yeah. <laughs> you made apocalypto with the guy without a heart he's yeah. like <laughs> yeah, was sick. like that great movie we haven't watched it in a while uh i have <laughs> damn i tried i should have showed heather shit and she just kept going what is this are you serious what is, last thing about death i wish you could like someone can confirm you could see what people said at your wake or like how they acted i just want that I wish after that I want to like flutter away, but I just definitely want to be like in a corner, like, oh that motherfucker's talking <laughs> to Heather. No, she's dead. She's been dead, but she's talking about Heather. You know, I want that. Yeah, you're like I don't. I I could care less about that. I feel like. I mean, biggest fear, death. Second biggest fear, no one coming to my wake. Third biggest fear, you, you just die tomorrow. This is all death related. Yeah, but you're dead. All of it. So are you more scared of me dying or you or death you. itself? You. I, it's no, it's death, then you, and then me. I'm scared about your death more than my death. So what do you mean by the first death? Like, I'm just scared of death. In That's in just general. in general. I, I try to act cool and say I wasn't, but big scared. I think my dad's 0% scared. I think like your death. dad's, like, dead already. He just closes his eyes. Who are you texting? No one. A lot of freaking hot girls and boys. No. You consider Animal a hot boy? No. Animal just sent a TikTok. I've seen this. He does faces. Yeah. Why is Animal watching TikToks? Why is he not making them? That's a good question. He looked like he ate a lot on 4th of July. Animal? Did you guys talk about any of this? I wasn't with him on 4th of July. I know, but on Twitter, he was just putting on sandwiches and sandwiches. So. Oh, I didn't say it. I, no. was, uh, I happened to be on the beach on mushrooms, so I <laughs> wasn't checking Animal's Twitter. Sorry. Um... You, our TikTok is 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 doing pretty well right now. I, could, I don't have a TikTok. So, so so yeah, you don't. I wouldn't download it to see our yeah. shit. But I'm just saying. My problem is, you know how addicted I got to Vine, so I don't yeah, want to that's that in my life. Yeah. But dude, uh, Instagram Reels, the algorithm's getting good. They're like it. It's almost at TikTok level. What do you mean? Like if you, okay. So when you go to your Explore page mm-hmm. on Instagram, you're gonna see that one video that's fucking vertical. Yeah. No, I know that's real, but what do you mean they're like... Right, I'm saying... You're just a big fat girl. Why? Eating food. <laughs> a big fat girl. <laughs> Another big fat girl <laughs> eating food. All right, it's literally says Chad gets roasted. Pretty sure it's a porn star, actually. Uh, yeah, you're going to get sucked in. Like, it, they're good. It's starting to get good. 
and they're not just like TikToks on it, like people making them for Instagram oh. reels. I'm okay. saying like the. Are you starting to do reels too, or just TikTok? I'm not doing reels. I've been doing the. T- I should start putting them on. Who does TikTok for you? This kid Davis. Um. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> well, because I, was sh- I didn't have his contact info, and I've been trying to. F- he's just been posting TikToks and not. We started doing the YouTube Shorts. Yeah. And they're starting, and we're taking them and just putting them on TikTok, and they're doing pretty fucking well. We had a few of them pop off for like ten thousand, whatever, and we have all these fourteen year old kids just absolutely dragging me on TikTok. Like it's the worst take I've ever seen. I'm like, go f- go fucking lose your virginity or something, you fucking <laughs> losers. And this kid's putting all my videos on there, and he's doing a good job. But I'm like trying to ask him about something, or I was trying to tell him something about a strategy I wanted him to try on TikTok. But then I couldn't find his email. I couldn't find his Instagram. I don't have his phone number. So we have like just a ghost person putting up our TikToks. I'm I'm talking in our Slack, asking like. Scott, Sexy Pats, I'm like, does anyone know, like, are any of you guys putting up the TikToks? And there's like, no. I'm like, is it Davis? So I started tweeting out the other day. I was like, Davis, if you see this, please respond. <laughs> and he did. I saw he that. Up, he ended up emailing me, yeah, so I have to talk to him. But, uh, yeah. he like, That's an out-of-control thing that you just put out and you don't even know who was doing it for you. Dude, what's wrong with you? He's been doing it for six months almost now, like nonstop. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? We, we, what do you, it was either whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, like, it was either that or nothing. I know, but you should know who he is. Like, have a phone number. <laughs> like, have a his. <laughs> like, that's not how you run a business. We yes, talked it, about this. Get okay. serious. Why don't you tell me about how I, how to run a fucking get business? Get fucking serious. You had a guy just fucking ghost doing. <laughs> what if he started putting like his asshole on there? Well, he, change the fucking password. Oh, you know the. I thought you didn't know the password. I know the. I know the password. I just didn't know him. <laughs> now I know him. He's a great guy. He's worked. For, he's proven to me that he has a good work ethic. And now, I now I'm spreading his butt cheeks. Now I could talk to him. <laughs> now he's earned my respect. Do you know what? Because we have the kids who TikTok that be like, "Oh, I'm all over it." Three days, fall off the face of the earth. No respect. How many people have fallen off? Like they, you give them a project and then, uh, seven maybe. I don't fucking know. You show up or or get the fuck out. That's it. I was trying to think of a nice one liner. Yeah, I could have thought something better than that. Try it again. (laughs) No. Show up or. (laughs) <laughs> Where you get the tongue? What time is it? How long have we been on for? Twenty two minutes. I know that's a lie, but really? Yeah, we've been on for way longer. I would I, say between thirty eight and forty four at minimum. A little higher. Forty nine. So we're gonna go to the beach. Can you win me all my prizes on the boardwalk again? Like old days? Out on the boardwalk. Yeah. We're gonna have so fun. I don't know the words. Stop. Anything else? Did you want to talk about the beach? The beach? No. Well, we got to go to a deli. I don't know. We got to get a t-shirt. I know they're closed and they don't, they're not there anymore, but we have to get a t-shirt. So the deli is closed. What if they have one box it. downstairs left of t-shirts? How are we going to get in? We'll break in. What? I, don't, I wouldn't do that. I'm, a, I'm not a criminal. Dude, I have a high ankle sprain from we'll get places. Dave, we'll tell we've... Davis to meet us down the shore. Is he from Jersey? I have no Jersey? Idea. I don't know where he's from. Do you have any plans coming up? Was that like I should know? <laughs> no, and absolutely fucking not. I think I might just go to San Diego. Like what day is it? Thursday, July eighth. Maybe like July nineteenth. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't say anything. What do you mean? Why do you keep going somewhere you already went? Shouldn't you just go somewhere this else? Is a good, <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You want me to just go to fucking? Because I, I have people there. You just go to go to fucking Virginia? Yeah. Why? With who? <laughs> Just like enjoy, like and just go out and. I do enjoy when I go to fucking San Diego. But now, now you like, I went to Virginia, it's and everyone be like, "Why, you fucking weirdo?" What do I, I came back and I was like, I went to Virginia on a solo vacation for the weekend. Everyone be like, "What the fuck, dude?" Well, you picked a bad one, but you could this other state. That was like what ran through my mind when you said that. To be honest, we're are we still gonna do a fall trip? You and you and I. I told you we ne- we've never I done we're a, do a summer trip. You know, you said fall. What about? San Diego on the July nineteenth. <laughs> no, no, I literally what do you mean? work. So do I. You don't work. What do you mean? You hustle, brother. But uh no for real. Are we gonna do that? Yeah, you have We've to never done it. It's gonna be it. so romantic. You honestly work more than me, I think. Like every time we try to do it, you're like, <laughs> I can't, I have to work for the next twenty two days in a row. Dude, I'm I I'm a slave. Any uh, job updates? For no, you? I probably won't get anything. Love that. I like, I texted the director that's like supposed to be getting it and, and and like me interviewing. He's like, he's, what did he say? He said something like, what did he say? (laughs) 
He goes, stay tuned. And I was like, that was it. Okay. It's a big and I was answer, like, and then you don't hear back from And I was times. like, wanted to know if I should prep or anything. You know what's up? He's like, and he just texts me again, be ready. Stay ready. Stay tuned, be ready. Stay, keep putting up TikToks. Stay ready. I don't have any TikToks. I'm calling Davis up for a video next week. <laughs> a solo video. I'm like, Davis, you do your best solo video. I'm uploading it to my channel. You earned this spot. Okay. That's you on your job. <sighs> Stay ready. I am ready. I'm not ready. You should start TikTok. I should start a TikTok? Yeah. About what? Just like, I give you <clears throat> difficult phrases to say, and you just have to say them into the camera. Okay. Do you, huh? th you think that'll slap? Yeah, I think you'd be so bad at it. <laughs> that it would be I good. can't read. I know. Why? Do you? Because your fucking brain is small. What do you mean, why? Do you see this mitt on my head? Yeah, your head is big. Your it's brain huge. is really small. No, my though. brain is huge. I just haven't um, turned it on fully. Yeah, it's the same shit. I think I have dyslexia sometimes. Isn't that when you read things backwards? Yeah. But it's like not reading. It's writing. So you just write backwards? <laughs> yeah. Why are you so, saying this? It's not true. No, it is. Because so, so like a lot of clients come in and they have to like write or like a repair out for them. And I'm writing them like, what's your last name? And then they'll just start. And I'll just start. And then I, they're, they're going letter by letter. And I don't know where I'm just like, I, think, I? They're like, J. I think you just have a mental problem. I don't think there's anything to do with <laughs> dyslexia. What do you mean mental problem? What are you I, trying to I say? I think we're just like deteriorating. That was that. <laughs> deteriorating. <laughs> I need big fish, fish oil. What if I start licking up fish? <laughs> big fish oil. You probably get some of the oils from it. Yeah. yeah. Just I don't see why you wouldn't just uh, choose to take a fish oil capsule <laughs> instead of licking a fucking fish. But. Would you start buying fish every time? Just licking it here before every single episode? I'm looking here. I wouldn't let you in if you had a fish. I'd lock the front door and I'd see you buzz in. I'd say, show me your hands. <laughs> I'd put them in my back pocket. There's so many places you can hide a fish. I know. It's such a bad thing. That's all I got. I'd make you go to the next to the door strip butt naked <laughs> before you came in. And I'd let you in. You'd love to see this chocolate body. She looks man. like the looks fat like, girls on your like <laughs> Instagram a, reels like pink, that you were watching. Like a pancake ass. Oh, wow. Small haven't brain, heard, haven't heard that brain, before. Haven't heard that ass. before. Yeah. Yeah, your small ass nipples. Don't, don't even you, start. <laughs> yeah, look at him. That's not good at all. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? That's not why good at all. Why don't you just order your fucking, why don't you just order an you ass like on fucking Marks. Amazon subscription? <laughs> Bitch, I didn't even hear what you said. Yeah, well, they did, so it don't matter. Skirt. Yeah, why don't you put your hair up? See that hairline? Yeah. <laughs> 